Our client asked us if we could paint some Horus Heresy inspired 40K space walls. So here we have a Wyman 40K Space Wolves army in the original Horus Heresy Space Wolves darker grey colour scheme. This army includes a Chaplin on bike and Ragnar Blackmane, which we'll get to later on. So to start off with this army, what Space Wolf force would not be complete without some Thunderwolf cavalry? And this army totes six of the ferocious chaps, all ready to strike hard. Uh, great models, obviously. Space Wolves riding giant wolves. Uh, for anyone who doubts, there are wolves apparently on Fenris. Um, but a really, really great uh, set of models that are the main centre for point of this force, which is just brilliant. Uh, on the flanks, we've got some outriders as well. So uh, some Space Wolves on, on some more mechanical steeds, uh, but really nice to see some outriders featured in this army. And they're a really cool set of models. I absolutely love the two part sort of uh, grey with this really lovely, rich, warm, almost crimson kind of stripe that... Uh, is across the cowling, the bolters, and also used on the cowlings on the chainsaws and weapons as well. Um, a really nice uh, sort of just use of color, uh, just to add a bit of warmth to these more colder models. Up next in the army, we've got some Blade Guard veterans. What Primaris force would not be complete without them? Uh, there are six in this army, and uh, again, as ever, they are done in the grey, darker Horus Heresy livery of the Space Wolves. Uh, really like the use of colour on the uh, the blade as well. Got this almost like frost-like kind of blade on these. Um, Ned, who's painted this whole entire army, has done an extremely great job of combining some warmer and colder tones just to really add interest to different focal points on the miniatures, which I think is a great use of, it, of sort of understanding colour, but also just application as well. Um, all the little details are fully painted across the whole entire force, as you expect with us. So obviously all the, the purity seals, all the little sigils and things across the armor. We've also used uh, some of the uh, Horus Heresy transfers on this force, some of the sort of more heraldic kind of patterns and things for the sort of pack markings, which just worked really, really well. I'll just have to pick up a couple of these others because they're really, really great. We've got this other chap here who's just wiping this frosty kind of blade that he's toting as well, just while advancing uh, with that shield just mag locked to the back of his backpack, which is just lovely. Uh, but again, really great use of sort of colder colors and warmer colors across the different parts of the miniatures. When it comes to basing on this force, uh, our client has selected a really nice desaturated kind of tone uh, for the overall brown cover and then just some more vibrant tufts and things like that. So I'll just show you it on this uh, other Blade Guard veteran. Um, really nice use of uh, different sort of sizes of debris just on the bases as well, just to draw interest in different areas like these larger rocks and things, but a really nice dark sort of brownish kind of hued ground cover. So this Space Wolf Army features loads of packs or squads of different infantry, which really make up the sort of backbone of this Space Wolf force. And as with Space Wolves, you'd expect all the units to have some kind of close combat aspect. Um, we've got a load of different squads of intercessors. So you've got some assault intercessors. You've got some regular intercessors as well, just here on the sort of first layer here. Uh, and then we have uh, some heavy intercessors and also some wolfen as well. So again, that real flavor of space wolves in this force with those wolfen. Um, I'm going to jump in and just show you a selection of models from the force. So we'll have a look at some of these intercessors to start off with. Um, I do absolutely love the leather that's been done on these models. The real nice use of weathering on that leather just to show the sort of the age of it. And also it's been frequently used. Um, again, really sort of darker sort of overall color palette on these with uh, uses of some more warmer tones, like for example, the gun casings, again, that lovely burgundy that you've seen from different parts of the models across the army. Um, again, that leather, really warm leather with some nice scratches and detail work that's been done on there as well. And the golds are quite rich, which I do really like. Use of green for sort of like the little buttons and dials and lights and sort of the van braces and different screens and things as well, just the contrast to that sort of burgundy tone. So that's just one of these intercessors. Um, but they're all painted to that standard and all look absolutely exquisite. I'm then going to jump across and have a look at some of these heavy intercessors. Again, more bulkier, more firepower, as you'd expect, obviously, with these heavy intercessors. But again, really done in a super, super clean finish with that sort of uh, subtle weathering on the arm. One of the things I do really like as well is that all the space wolf iconography has been done with this sort of burgundy as well, just a contrast against the cream in a pad lining. I think that, that clash of colors just looks really, really good, or contrast of colors looks really good. So not only have we got assault intercessors and heavy intercessors in this force, we've also got our standard intercessor, which again, is one of my favorite models in the 40K Primaris range, just because you can do so much with it. Um, what has been done really well on this model is obviously the combination of using really good, solid, consistent techniques, obviously for all the areas of detail that we've done on the model. Uh, and just incidentally, this whole entire Falls Bar character has been painted to our bronze standard as well. So this hopefully gives you a really good idea of what you should expect from the bronze standard here at Siege. 
Um, you do get full, obviously, edge highlighting across the model and all the little details fully painted and highlighted. Uh, I do like the use of the sculpted Space Wolf pads as well to add that rich kind of Space Wolf flavour to these miniatures. And also using the 30k Horus Heresy transfer sheet for those sort of pack markings just adds a little bit of extra flavour whilst nodding to those 30k colours, as I mentioned. Uh, so that's just one of the standard intercessors from this force, and there's obviously 10 of those in this army. The other thing that uh, a Space Wolf army could not be without is obviously Wolfen. Uh, and they are probably the most savage, hard-hitting unit in this army. Uh, and they do really look very feral in there, obviously in their nature and their sculpt, which is great. Uh, but loads of little details on them, very aggressive advancing poses. And again, you can see that all the little lenses and things fully painted on them. Uh, absolutely love the, uh, the storm shields they've got with all that sort of uh, heraldry and filigree just on the exterior. But again, 10 Wolfen in this army, just to really give a lot of punch to it as a force. So to lead this aggressive army of the Volker Femrika, we have got three awesome characters for you to look at. And the first one is, as always, a lieutenant, which is great to have in your Primaris force. Uh, this one specifically loved the outstretched pose, which is just really nice, obviously. You've got that Volkite that's just being fired off there. Um, and again, with that massive storm shield and all the little details that have been done across this model. He is absolutely bedecked in loads of ornamentation. Uh, he's got that tilt shield as well with that extra little bit of uh, detail on there. We've got a bit of a pack marking or a sort of logo on there. Uh, again, but a really, really lovely, uh, lovely model. I do love the use of adding like little sort of like sort of fluffy towers and things onto various areas of the model just to really add that space wolf uh, uh, sort of detail. Also got sort of a bit of a necklace with some glowing sort of rune stones and things on there, which is really nice. And the subtle orangey uh, glow on the bulk it just really works. Next, probably one of my favorite HQ models from the Primaris range uh, is the Chaplain on bike. Uh, this thing nods right back to the very, one of my very first models in 40k, which was a Space Marine Chaplain on bike, uh, the old metal one. And uh, I absolutely love the new Primaris one. It's uh, such a great sort of relaxed pose where he's just scanning the battlefield on that bike. Um, but Ned's done a phenomenal job on this model. That really lovely obsidian black cowling on the bike and all the armoured areas. Um, and I do like the use of green and reds on there, those contrasting colours or complementary colours, just to really pick out specific details like the, 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 the casings on the bolter, the book on top, the handle on the, on the Crozius Arcanum, uh, and then obviously the little sort of Space Wolf gems and things all painted in this lovely sort of uh, bright green as well, just to add that contrasting colour hue. Um, but again, this awesome, awesome chaplain on bike. Um, what you'll notice as well across all the, all the little screens and things on the bikes, you, you, Ned's done a phenomenal job of making each little screen very different and, and, and having like little sort of markings and things like little readouts on there, which is just, again, showing that attention that goes into models with us here at Siege Studios. Finally, to lead this Space Marine force, we couldn't have anyone else but the man, the myth, the legend, Ragnar Blackbane. Uh, Ned has done a phenomenal job on him and translating those 30K dark color scheme onto this model. Um, really great sculpt, a uh, great sort of uh, aggressive attacking outstretched hand kind of pose, which I do absolutely love. The aggression on the face is just brilliant. I think it's one of my favorite things from, from seeing that model resembled in Primaris. It's, it's just lovely. And then it's done a great job of picking out all the little details and things on this model. The, the belt of rust that you can see there, you obviously got the glowing uh, runes just around that necklace. You've got the green gems that again, flow across the force. There's a nice parity between the greens and colors and hues that have been used on infantry, even on the characters as well. I do really love the uh, the sort of cloak with the fur, a nice darker kind of fur tone on there, which is really nice. Obviously, he's got his black hair as well, which is just brilliant. Um, and then obviously, you've got all the little intricate little sort of wolf teeth and things that are all fully painted as well. The really rich, deep red crimson inner lining of that cape is just absolutely lovely um, and really contrasts well against all the other colors that are on there. So if you like this army and you'd like to get a commission with us here at Siege, head to the description of the video where you can find a link to the Siege website. From all the team here and myself, a massive thank you for watching the showcase. Do help us out by liking this video and subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.